everyone. My name is Jasmine Thomas. I'm sorry about the light. What I would like to demonstrate for week seven is something that I do best. <laughs> and I pretty much like this week out of all week simply because I get to actually show what I like to do finally for the first time. Okay, I was going to show you guys how to play a guitar. But I feel like, hey, that's too much. And I bet everybody like, oh, well, I really want to hear it, but it'll take up too much time. I can show you a few things, but as for me playing, I cannot. I cannot because it's too late in the time. But I actually have the strings here. One, two, three, four. The main, the well, the lowest string is the red one. And the loudest string is actually the top yellow one. And mainly when you play, if I play the red one, it'll be like that. Because it's the loudest one. It's more like the soprano of them all. And this one, the last one, is more like the bass of them all. You hear it? So yeah, that's different between the two. And then, like, if you do it all together, you just hear a sound like this. It's pretty unique, but I'm not playing this today, okay? I'm going to have this one. Okay. So what I would like to show you guys is something that I do best. I do it on my spare time. And that's pretty much painting. So I'm going to show you all of them, and then I'm going to go back and show you what, what I was thinking when I was doing them. Okay, so here's the first one. Pretty neat. Here's the first one. I think I did that like during the summer. It's old. Here is the second one. Right here. It's the second one. Here's the third one. Oh, I love this one, you guys. So this is the third one. Here's the fourth one. Okay, and since this is the last one I have in my hand, I'll start with this one first. So I'm actually like this makeup queen. I love makeup. I love everything about makeup, so kind of just did my lips. <laughs> they're not that big. Sorry once again about the light, but they're not that big. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, but they're not that big, but I love wearing red lipstick. My teeth is white. I don't need bright lights for anybody to see that, so pretty much match. <laughs> And here's the lipstick here, the red lipstick. This is my eyeshadow. So I don't wear red eyeshadow though. It's mainly a brownish color. It's always getting color. I love getting my nails did. So you can barely see them now, but I love getting my nails did. So faking our polish. So this is pretty much my makeup. I was just, I don't know, feeling makeup that day one night and I just went to drawing or well, painting and these are my favorite colors which is yellow, blue, and white. So yeah, that's what this is about. Okay, we're going to go to this one. Well, one night I kind of had like a, a nightmare and I just... start painting. I just woke up out of my sleep and just start painting. It was actually about resurrection. And that down here it has G O V that's government because that's who control the world. So you pretty much see that everywhere. Government, government here, here, pretty much controlling the world. And then you see sin at the top. Cause sin is pretty much, you know, everything well, you just wake up in sin, so it's all around the world. Sin is everywhere. You can't, you know, hide from, hide or run from sin. Here's hate. It's hate right here. Death, pain, graffiti. 
the number, the devil's number 666 and the devil eyes. And this is actually the trumpet when Jesus comes. Stars in the sky. It's pretty much God holding the earth with Satan in his hand with the sun in the other hand. So I was pretty much I was going through it that night. I had a nightmare and that's Jesus crying. So that's what this picture is about. <laughs> okay. Mind you, once again, I did have nightmares and it also, this painting actually ties into this one because this is also resurrection. This is the falling angels right here, falling from the sky. Well, no, not angels. The angels are actually right here, more of the yellow ones. And this is actually, this is actually fire falling from the sky. And they say Revelation 8.10. And then it looks like it's pretty much water, but this is actually land with the cross, more like the church. And everything just pretty much burning. So that's what it is. A lot of hell going on in this picture right here at the bottom. So that's what I was thinking of. Pretty much ties into that picture. I think I had that dream like back to back. Okay. And this one, I had a dream. <laughs> they all based off dreams and stuff for the first one with my makeup. And right here on this one, I actually had a dream that... I was walking through a valley to meet Jesus, me, my brother, and my grandmother. And actually, I kind of got lost. So that's why you really can't see any people on here or anything because I got lost in a dream. I couldn't find anyone. But this is what was actually going on in my head. Just a valley trying to go find Jesus. And we're just going to meet him here in the mountains. That's what I was thinking about on this one. So all of my paintings, all, well, my last three paintings actually ties in together because they, all of them was actually based off of a dream that I had for days. Like the dream actually went on and on. I just didn't do a lot of paintings about them because every time someone came in my room, they always had something to say about them. Like, making it seem like I was kind of crazy or anything. So the only one I pretty much have hanging up is this one. Because I don't like to ask a lot of questions about my painting. Alright, and I pretty much hope that you guys actually enjoyed it. Because I actually did these pictures by heart. I painted them, it strictly came straight from the heart. And I just love everything about them. Except for now, the three pictures that I showed you in my dream, I don't hang those up because I get tired of asking, being asked the same question over and over again about them. And I would like to thank you guys as well for listening to me. I know that I kind of did a long video, but thank you all for listening. And see you next time. Bye.